This is the video that people wanted to see about painting trim. Um, it's not that bad, actually. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of expert opinion on how to do it. Um, and it can take quite a bit of time, but if it's done right, it's gonna last forever. So the first thing we did is we started off by priming, okay? All right, and the primer that we're using is Extreme Bond Primer from Sherwin-Williams. What I did is I actually used my spray gun for that, and I put that in here. This one. Put that in this Graco 360 VSP. Now, you do not have to have that. Um, the reason I did it is I wanted it on a pretty thin coat, okay? I put it on like the one of the lowest settings I could and I sprayed it. I sprayed it as thin as I can. You can see, even on here, on this door here, for example, it's super streaky, but you don't need it to be on real thick. You don't want it on real thick. Thinner the better. Um, multiple coats is fine. Um, in my case, I just did one, but, um, and now I've gone and hit it with the paint that we use, which of course is right here. And this is the one, so go ahead, feel free to screenshot that. Um, I absolutely love it. And this is the color we went with, if anybody actually cares. I can't tell if that's focusing. Um, not really very difficult to do, just super time consuming. Um, so very first step in our case was to wash the trim. Um, and all you have to do is use like a rag and degreaser mix and just wipe everything down, give it several hours, to dry because of course it is wood it'll gain some of that moisture and you can't add that so um here's another good example of where it's pretty heavy here and then versus where it's light and that's going to be okay one of the uh important parts let me see of this paint the reason i picked this paint um again here it is this is actually a self-leveling paint okay so what that means is let's see if we can get some of these um, I can't tell if that's very good. So some of those imperfections in the wood, the grain of itself, will actually level itself out, okay? Um, it's gonna take a couple coats, just like anything else. You know, you go from one of those wood extremes to a white, it's gonna take some coats. Um, so you don't have to worry too much about that, but evening out and, and even really helps a lot with brushing. Um, now that we're painting, I'm actually not using my spray gun. I want to apply it nice and evenly thin, and I don't have all that control that some of the painters can do, and uh, I just feel like I have more control with the uh, brush. So I'll put a couple coats of that on, and it'll even it out so nicely, and it'll get rid of all those imperfections. Um, and what it'll do, it'll end up looking more like a vinyl versus an actual wood. Now, if you don't want that, and you want it to have be white, but still have a little bit of that green, that's okay. You just don't have to put as many coats on. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get a good angle. We got some tough lighting because we did tape everything off, but um, it looks really good and you don't really have to, uh, it's, it, it's easy. Anybody can do it and you can do it over a weekend. In this case, the house is empty, right? So you don't have to worry about draping uh, over the couch and you know cleaning up all of them, making sure you don't make a mess on the carpet and one real quick is um when you paint your wood trim it's never going to be um let me see if i can we spent most of the day trying to fill all the imperfections you can kind of see where your trim is connected how they mitered it there's going to be like a you know if it's not perfect which it just can't be perfect enough it's going to show like a little black line you can kind of see that there's a black line there. Um, oh, here, for example, when you put all the way down these here, there's that black line, and that's just because it's not perfectly um, sealed to the wall. We can use this one. Um, you can go to Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, and you can pick up this caulking here. Um, this is a caulking made, again, go ahead and screenshot that for anybody that's interested. Um, that's made just for painting projects, okay? And what you wanna do with that is you wanna put that bead on here. You can go ahead and just cut this tip at an angle. I like the squeeze tube because you can um, manipulate it a little bit better. But you know, run that at an angle and then you can just get ready and you can um, 
put it at an angle and then you just slide this all the way down and squeeze it. Now you may not get a perfect bead like I am. So what you can do is you go back to the top and just take your finger and just wipe it down. And now in about 10 minutes, you can come back and you can paint that. And it's going to be good to go.